What's up guys? It's your boy Mooser and Andrew's Haunts and Mooser and Halloween Hot Man. Today's video we're gonna be unboxing Experimental Eddie. If you're watching for Mooser and Andrew's Haunts, you did see I did a demo with this guy back in November. I got this guy on sale on at the November 1st, second sale. But he did not work, but all of his lights work and his motor was tried. So basically I got a three experimental light. This guy was 50 bucks. I just contacted Dr. Zombie. Gave me a brand new updated motor. Brand new. So that's how you do it. So we're gonna be unboxing this guy today. Unboxing. Lean chest plate with wires and some lights coming out of the back there. We got his questionable head. I don't know if I like it, but cool. The left, the right arm with no wire, and the left arm with a wire coming out of it. The old motor. His pants here. His control box. Oh, here's his screws. I just put it in a bag. Two similar looking poles labeled B and F. A lot of parts. A cook, a, a, a bad metal pole labeled C, flat metal pole, flat square metal pole labeled G and H. Don't know what that means, but whatever. We got his wooden base with two leg poles. Got his shoes here, his boots. He's got his like jumpsuit kind of shirt. Another caked metal pole. Another caked metal pole. Long pole. And of course, the six volt, two amp DC adapter. Alrighty, we got clothing, chest plate, head, both arms, control box. All these metal poles, base, two feet, and the adapter. Ooh, and where did I put that? The brand new motor, right here. Then you want to pop in these poles labeled B to B. It's not an instructional setup video. I'm just being a horrible filmer here and putting these pots together. So that's at one pole. We got. Hey here. Go right there. They're all snapping pins. It's probably seasonal visions. <laughs> so next, probably gonna put in the kid metal holes right there, I'm guessing. I'm wrong, it's the shoes. He slides them over the feet. Like that. Well I'll grab the other one here. And pull up it on this one. So that's what we're looking like so far. Let me see what the next step is. That's the smaller metal poles. And just attach the D. Like that. Grab the other smaller pole. And attach. Mm -hmm. It says C to C. Here, C. We'll go ahead and attach 
for you to see here. Alrighty, so halfway done, I would say. Let's see what the next step is. Label D and put it on connecting the VDE. Just like that. Then I'm guessing you grab, yeah, F to F. What is going on here? Oh, yeah, F to F. F to F. There we go. So now I'm thinking it's the motor time. Wrong again. It's the pants. How did I forget that? Pants have like two different materials, so it's kind of tricky to put them on, but I don't think there's a front and a back of the pants. I wouldn't think. I'm not good at putting on pants. Come on. I don't, I don't know why they put these two materials. And just, they could easily just do a simpler design. There we go. Do the same thing as the other side. Grab the two layers. Just slide over the other leg. Like that. So now it's kind of like hanging there. Now, I think I was right. Attach the mechanism motor, my brand new motor, right here. Having a hard time with this snap pin. I'll get back when I finish my struggle of putting this pin in. Okay, I finally got it in. Now you slide the pant legs up like that. Hopefully it's correct, and I think, so let me check the instructions one more time. Uh, control box right to this little pin here, which is kind of weird, it's on the back. But now I think I'm going to move on to the head area, I'll see. So I just attached J to J the wires. Now I'm guessing I'm going to put in... This pole, and I think I'm gonna need a screw driver for this. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. Do one of those and get the screwdriver out. So I just screwed one of the screws right in the back there. Now I'm gonna. 
I'm guessing it's gonna be the head and the clothing. So we'll see. I'll check the instructions because I kind of forget how to set up animatronics. <laughs> so this is the head. I am just gonna put it on here. is on like that. No, I think it's gonna be the clothing. That's what I'm guessing. We'll see in the instructions. So it is the chest plate. And it has these little plastic connectors where you have to poke them through the plastic kind of. So I'm gonna go do that quickly. One of his tubes fell out here. So this guy's taller than I, I thought he was. I don't know if you know he's this tall. One of them in. Two of them in. Now I'm gonna connect the wires. This is, seems to be, I, I think it is I or something. Or maybe the light. I'm just gonna leave that for now because I don't know what the wire goes to and I'm gonna check the next step. So now it's his shirt. Like that. Like so. And I'm just gonna poke all of his uh, wires through like that. I'm not gonna do the Velcro up because It says, well, I'm watching HGJ's video to see him, how to set him up. And it just, he just says not to put the wires up because it would be hard to put the arms in. So, I'm going to give him his word on it. So, so. What he's looking like for now, and I'm gonna grab the arms. This is the the right arm. I'm gonna slide it up here, and luckily there, there's only one material for the arm. It's not like the pants where there's two materials. Then you go under here, and it's kind of weird. You do. I'm just guessing. Like so. Velcro strip. <sighs> Does have a bunch of right. So his 
his left side is kind of is all dealt with. I'm gonna work on his right side now. Right. Oh, sorry that that is his right side. Got him the left arm now. So there's only one more step to do and connect the wires and put his arm, his uh, left arm with the wire. I think it's like two different materials. Yeah, there's two different materials, but I have decided to prove both of them. Luckily there is no zip ties, which I like. Then I'm just going to connect all the wires here. Let's see what we got. I don't know which I'm pretty sure this is. Lots of wires coming down. There's a lot of wires, so I'm gonna check in the instructions of what wires I connect. And I'll connect all the wires, then I'll do a demo and test out the new motor. So I connected all these wires. I don't even know if I did these right, because there's a lot of wires, but I think all these wires just help light up the, the blue things. So I'm gonna put his shirt down. Velcro him up. I'm gonna fix his collar and poke all these wires through the holes here. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Whoops. I'll come back when I get all the wires and everything put in them. Then I'll plug them in and do a demo. So I did get all the wires all wrapped around them. And the adapter plugged into them. So. He's on on. I'm just gonna turn the volume a little. Turn the volume a little down because it is a little early in the morning. All right, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh. What a cool animatronic. I love this guy, guys. Tell me what you guys think about him. Hopefully this was a little better of an unboxing video. And the next prop coming to the channel is going to be him. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have some Instagrams too. I have Mooser and Aunt Mooser. And Andrew's Haunt and, and Halloween underscore Haunt. Go check them out. It's kind of weird how I made a video for both of my YouTube channels, but 
I didn't want to make two separate videos about this guy because I'm just going to leave him up for the season. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.